Welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to use dynamic content in Pardot, also known as Marketing Cloud Account Engagement. My name is Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce consultant and trainer with Rotive. Dynamic content is a great feature that's available to everybody who has the plus edition of Pardot, or you can purchase an add-on if you have the growth edition. What it allows you to do is to present different content to a prospect based off information you have about them. So for example, on your website or in an email, you could have one message for prospects and then have a different message for customers. Or if somebody has a high grade or a low grade, you can show them different messages. Or if they have an interest in one product versus another product, you could show them something different. It's a feature that allows you to dynamically customize the content that you're showing your prospects or your customers. So it's ultimately gonna give them a better message, a better experience, and it's going to improve your marketing. To create dynamic content, go to the Content tab in Pardot and click on dynamic content on the left-hand side. If you don't have this feature, you're gonna see a big red alert show up at the top telling you that you don't have it. If you do have it, you can click the add dynamic content button in the upper right-hand corner, and this is the screen that you're, that you're gonna get. It's asking you to give this content a name, you can put it in a folder, you can apply a tag, and then you can also choose the default tracker domain for it. For the tracker domain, you can use your default one that you've got set up, or if you've got multiple tracker domains, make sure you're using the one that corresponds with the website where you want to post this dynamic content. Now, you don't have to post this to your website. This is one of the options. You can also use dynamic content exclusively in your emails or above forms or in the thank you content of your forms. Now, let me show you how it's structured. Once you've set your, your tracker domain, you've got a default content area and then you have a place where you can add multiple variations. The default content area is what's gonna be shown if Pardot doesn't know the prospect. Perhaps they're just an anonymous visitor or if their data doesn't match one of the variations beneath here. So this is our fallback. If you click the pencil next to the open content area, you then get a rich text screen here where you can add text, images, tables, HTML, etc. If you click the little icon in the upper right, it looks like two brackets, this is where you can add that HTML. So maybe you've got a button that you've coded, for example, you can just paste that in there and show one call to action to a default set of people and maybe a different call to action based off the variation. You also have the ability to add merge fields here, like first name, last name, title, etc. And then beneath that default content, we've got variations. This is where you choose what field you want to use to determine the variation. These are only prospect level fields. So if you've got an account level field that you were hoping to use to differentiate between different prospects, you're gonna to have to get that data onto the prospect level by pushing that data down to the contact if you wanna use it for dynamic content. But custom fields work well too. We've got one at the bottom here and all of our standard fields as well. For example, for you could choose first name and whenever that person's name is Jim, we could have a different message that says, you are a winner and hit save. Now, I've already created some dynamic content and I'll show you how that works. You can see here I've created one called welcome message and when you're outside of the edit screen it shows you this nice overview. Here's my default content says welcome back then my variation for A whenever the grade is equal or greater to A minus we get this message welcome back first name if there's anything you need give us a call at 86753309. If their grade is an F, then we say, why do you keep bothering us? Question mark. And if their grade is anything other than that or unknown, it'll just say, welcome back. Once you've created your content here, you can always come back and edit it and change it and add more variations if you want to. And then you can embed the code by clicking the view embed code in the upper right hand corner. This gives you a little bit of JavaScript that you can paste directly into your website or a landing page. Within Pardot, you'll find dynamic content is available already in a couple different places. For example, with forms. Here's a standard form that I've got created. If I click edit form, I can come to the look and feel section. And we've got this above form, below form area. And I can insert dynamic content here by clicking on the lightning bolt in the toolbar. Here's our welcome message dynamic content. And you can even preview it right from the screen, which is nice. You can also use this within the email builder. In step four, under completion actions, we have that same lightning bolt show up here too. So you can use dynamic content in that thank you content area too. I'm gonna to click on this link to view the form. If I zoom in here, 
you can see it, it just says welcome back at the top of my dynamic content. So clearly my grade is not an A and it's not an F. It's something else or it's blank entirely. Well, let's change that. I'm gonna bring up my prospect record in this system. And under profile, this is where I can change the grade. If I hit thumbs up on all of our profile criteria here, that's gonna change my grade from being blank or, or a D to an A. There's the A. So now when I come back to this form, if I hit refresh, we get the dynamic content for somebody that has an A grade in the system. Welcome back, Brian. If there's anything you need, give us a call at, and then the phone number. Same thing if I change this profile and I reset this and I mark them all as not matching, that's gonna give me a failing grade in the system. Hit refresh and you can see now it says, why do you keep bothering us above the form? You can do this with any field on that prospect level. It doesn't just have to be the grade. So some ways I've seen this being used, prospects versus customers, job title, product interest. It's also quite good for saving you time in your emails. If you have a campaign going out to two different segments and the email is mostly the same except one piece of it, I'd recommend cutting that down just to one email send that's gonna go out but insert some dynamic content in there that has the differences between segment A and segment B. You are gonna give up a little bit of detail when it comes to reporting based off segment, but you're gonna save a lot of time because you don't have to run two completely separate campaigns if you're using dynamic content in that way. I hope this video helps you understand why you might wanna use dynamic content and how it works. If you'd like more training on how to use Marketing Cloud Account Engagement, consider taking our beginner's course at academy.rotive.io. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.